The memory latency performance of AMD's RDNA 2 and Nvidia's Ampere GPU architectures have been tested by Chips and Cheese. The tech outlet decided to test out the GPU memory latency performance of the latest GPU architectures from Team Red and Team Green and found some rather interesting results. On the CPU side, measuring cache and latency performance has become a crucial pointer with ever increasing use of multi-chiplet dies and several I.O. chips on board the same die and in, in recent instances off die as well, speaking of AMD Zen chiplets. Now, GPUs are also composed of several cache hierarchies that fill in the gaps between compute and memory performance and the source used OpenCL based pointer chasing benchmarks to measure the cache and memory latency performance on current generation of GPUs. GPUs, such as NVIDIA's Ampere and AMD's RDNA 2 architectures. In the benchmarks, the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT, representing the RDNA 2 GPU, and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, representing the Ampere GPUs, were positioned against each other. Now the cache and memory benchmarks show that AMD's RDNA 2 architecture fared far better than Nvidia's Ampere GPU, delivering lower latency despite having to check two more levels of cache on the way to the memory. The use of Infinity Cache only adds 20 nanoseconds over L2 hit and is still faster than Nvidia's Ampere. Now the reason stated is that the Nvidia Ampere GA102 GPU is simply a much larger GPU and while it uses more conventional GPU memory subsystem with only two cache levels, it takes a lot of cycles and results in over 100 nanoseconds of latency from L1 to L2. Now RDNA 2 on the other hand has a latency of just 66 nanoseconds. Now do note that the AMD Navi 21 GPU is much smaller and features a 4 megabyte L2 cache while the Nvidia GA102 GPU features 6 megabytes of L2 cache for the whole chip. Now the Nvidia A100 GPU for HPC has a massive 40 megabytes of L3 cache. Now compared to older Pascal and Maxwell chips, the Ampere architecture has led to highly improved latency speeds on much larger GPUs. AMD, on the other hand, has shown some impressive gains versus older GCN and VLIW architecture-based chips. Now, these numbers are definitely going to be interesting for comparison points once the new round of chiplet-based GPUs hit the gaming segment in the coming years. Now, future tech and chiplets could be the reason there is a strong emphasis on latency with RDNA 2 as AMD tends to build on itself, making changes iteratively and building on the things that worked and dropping those that didn't. So it'll be quite interesting with RDNA 3 where things go. All right, guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this particular video. And if you enjoyed what you've seen and you got anything out of it, make sure you stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button. And if you missed a previous video, maybe check that out over there.